Hi guys, I'm doing another uh, Google Doodle explanation, but this time it's more an explanation and a showing than and really how it's done. So, today is the, if we would be still alive, 100th birthday of Alan Turing. And this is Alan Turing on one of his rare images where he is smiling. And this is a pack of Highland cows I just find cute. And this is Alan Turing again, smiling. Go to Google Images and look for Alan Turing or on Wikipedia Alan Turing. There are not much pictures of him smiling. So, what Alan Turing? Oh, Alan Turing and he's not smiling. Uh, why is he staring so grumpy? Don't stare so grumpy, Alan Turing. You're a great man. You did good. So, Alan Turing, he is an English chap and is a mathematician and logician and why Alan Turing is so famous is one of the reasons his Turing machine please go to wikipedia.org if you want to get more but the basics is a Turing machine is basically a theoretical machine sometimes it's already built but Alan Turing himself did not build any Turing machine for him it just existed on the paper but then again it works on paper as it works in reality. So a Turing machine really is now nah, that's really quite terrible visualization there on Wikipedia. But it's guess I mean so a Turing machine need to consist of four different things. We need a tape or band which is readable and writable. We need a head, the head we need for reading and writing. We need a state register to see which state we are actually now in, or the head is in, according to the tape. And we need a finite table of or action table. This is a set of rules we need. So we have a writing head, and with that set of rules, we can say uh, if he have to move on, in which direction he have to move on, and if something happen what he have to do, he had he to write something or not. Let's see here now, this is a tape on the right and we see we have the writing head, it's on the position zero, we can go left, we can go right, we have different states, we have the zero state and the one state and we have a breaking or end point and what we can do is we have a set of rules, go left, go right, do nothing, write something, erase, print, and with this set of rules, the good thing about that is, or why it's so much important, is it's the ancestor of the modern computer as we know it. Because every computer works with algorithms, especially uh, binary, it's just uh, adding something. And so, with the Turing machine, you can make every possible algorithm work. If it's a mathematical logical algorithm you can do it with the Turing machine and that's the great deal because nothing else does a modern computer processor do. It follows rules and algorithms so yeah but 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 go to the Wikipedia page and, and look at yourself up and here's a nice uh, illustration of a Turing machine again so we see the band what which is possible to move left and right we have the head, which can scan to see which state we are in. It can erase and it can write and we have the memory. So, just for imagination. But now let's go to the actual Google Doodle. I just reload it quick and fast. And we see we have the band and we have the head. It's writing on it and it's moving on it. Cool. In the uh, last two Google Doodle how it's done videos I've done uh, I explain how actually the animation works I don't do it here but what I wanted to show you at least is I open the background image in a new tab to see the sprite file as always Google uses one PNG sprite file for its animation and what we see here is uh, five steps of a dissolving zero or a printing zebra and the same with the one. 
why I think this is really cool is because if you look closely to the animation the numbers are not just disappearing but rather nicely fading and dissolving you see how it's a little it have a really nice touch uh, cool so but now what's the great thing about this Google animation is it's actually a little game it's a little enigma riddle or quiz or something I don't, I don't know the, the, the actual term for that so cool because what we can do now is we have here the strip we have the head and this is the aim we want to change this number to this number according to the set of rules we can manipulate at some points so every point which is orange we can change see that we can change it that's cool so what we have to do now is to change that rule so much that we change the actual number here to this one but I wanted to start with the first one because it's more easy why can't I start with the first one? I want to start with the first one okay so I guess we have to start with the O mm. O over with the third O why, why can't I reset it? That's, that's a downer but okay but nice no problem so here we have the play button and then it starts from here reading the rules we're starting here with the head so what is this? that is an if if is empty, if is zero, if is one this is one if it's one right to one go right and check again what is if it's not the one right a one okay and um go left what we need to do is go down yeah go right okay that's cool then he would be here I don't want to do that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So I need to change this to a zero. Let's say we have. Okay, so if a one, we are writing a one. Going one right, then we are here. Okay, when we are there we can go one back okay yeah, yes okay let's go one back if there's a one and if there is a one again write a zero then go right go right okay keep it classy okay i hope that works so let, let's see, let's check it, let's check it. I hope it simply it works. Okay, so he writes a one, okay. Makes zero. Oh, fuck! Yeah, of course. Okay, I, I, I forgot. So, at last point, he's going one back, but, but we don't actually need that. Don't need that. Okay, let's see again how it turns out. Okay. And we got it. We got it. Uh, uh, I think we got it. Uh, my mother's fuckers. My bitches in my crib. We got it. Ed and Turing is the shit. Oh, cool. I'm freestyling. I'm a dope rapper. Okay. Wow. Yes, that's already the solution. Huh? <laughs> what? Okay, maybe he remembers it because I, I did already some of them last time. Ah, that's nice. So, okay, we are on the L now. Let's see, we have a zero. Okay, so we are going back, back, then we, are, then we can check. Okay, if it's a zero, oh, that's, that's lame. Okay, if it's a zero... Why do I want to do that? Oh, that's complex! Arrgh! I'm a creative guy, I'm not good with mathematics and logical stuff. Okay, the... Uh, 
Wait, wait, okay, we're going back, back. So we're at a zero. But that zero can stay. Okay, so we got a zero. Okay, cool. So we have a zero, then go back. Then what this little thing it does is it goes so often right until he is on a dead spot. Then we are writing a one. Then we are going right. If it's a one, go down and end. No. Okay, that should do the trick. Okay, what this rule say is we are going back, 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 and then repeat as often when you find an empty spot, write a one, then go right till you find an empty spot. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, we need to change the last zero. No, no, no. What, what am I doing here? Wait. I'm I'm thinking loud now. <laughs> okay, I, I just press play and see what what I'm did what I did wrong. Okay, it's empty now. You're just writing a one. Okay. Okay, it's not empty. Of course not. Then again, empty writes a one. Ah, cool. It worked fine. Oh, <laughs> I, I did a good job by accident. <laughs> that's cool. But but that's the idea. I mean. Do the others do start with the first one? The first one is, is a lot more easy and go to the last one. One thing I like to mention about Alan Turing is he did a great job in the Second World War deciphering, as also decoding the German Enigma codes. Please read up about the Enigma machine if you don't know what it is and helped the struggling Allied forces to decode Nazi messages so they could find all submarines and also could uh, decode messages from the German Air Force the Luftstreitkräfte by the way I, I really do enjoy when, when people when, you, when you're English speaking people, natively English speaking people try to speak or, or not, not try to but, but do adapt some German words or say some German words really really strictly and strongly like Achtung! Halt! Jawohl! Bleiben Sie stehen! That's, I mean, nobody says it in Germany that way, but, but it sounds really funny and I, and I enjoy that a lot. But why, why I'm showing up the Enigma machine is because so Alan Turing did a great job uh, decoding the messages and because nobody else had the possibility to uh, predict how the rotors in the machine would decode anything decode and encode the messages but since it's a machine it also have a rule set it's a very very far and wide rule set but in the end it's just rule set and Alan Turing did decode these messages and why I mention is that is because I don't know if you know it but Alan Turing was gay and so a gay man made a great deal decoding or making the possibility, make it possible to decode Nazi secret messages and after the Second World War because he was gay and people thought gayness was being gay was a sickness they sent him to some healthcare center and treated him with experimental medicine and everything and I just think that's really really terrible and the wrong thing to do. You can't fight Nazis and say, hey, it's bad to be a racist or to be a Nazi, to uh, kill a lot of Jews and attack other countries because they are different to your opinion and then do the same thing again in your country with gay people. That's, that was a terrible part of your history too, uh, England and USA, I guess. And USA, please, 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 do a lot more for your gay folks. I mean, why is it that they are not allowed to marry in some states? That's terrible. But okay, I just wanted to know you that, and if you enjoyed it, many people say visit my channel, but I guess if you enjoyed that video, there are not much videos you could enjoy on my channel. So just have a nice day, and maybe we see you around.